What's up everybody, I'm here in the Edutech studios, proudly powered by STL Flix. I've been getting a ton of questions about how easy the Eufy Make UV Printer E1 is to actually use. So today we're gonna walk through a project from start to finish and find out. My name's Jim and this is the Edutech. So before getting the E1, and that's what we're gonna call it now for the rest of this video, uh, I have never actually used a UV printer or seen the process even. So that being said, I do have to say it's actually pretty easy. And for me, the hardest part is actually picking out what art or pictures or images that you wanna use on the material you're gonna print on. Uh, I really thought that was the hardest part for me. The, using the printer actually turned out to be really easy. For this project, I'm actually gonna use a 12 by 16 wooden canvas, as you can see here. But first I need to make sure that the large build platform is actually installed on the printer. So I'm gonna remove the rotary that was on there and then put the large build platform on. From there, I'm gonna take the wooden canvas and drop it on the right side of the build platform. It can be really anywhere. I just choose to line it up on the right side. And once it's on the platform, of course, the E1 has to be powered on to proceed, but it's already on, so we're good to go. Now we want to go into the uh, Eufy Make software and go up to the top and hit this little plus sign here to create a new canvas. Once my canvas is opened, what I wanna do is come over and click this snapshot button. What that's gonna do is take several pictures of whatever's on the platform of the E1. It'll scan it and it'll show up right here on the canvas so you can design or place your designs right on the location that you want scanned. Uh, I like to do this ahead of time, but there are several people that like to design first and then add their snapshot later and adapt. It's really just personal preference. Once your item is scanned, in this case, my wooden canvas, you're gonna see it on the screen like this, and it's time to upload or choose your art. I'm gonna go up here to upload. I'm gonna go to the Jacobite train. My son, Tristan, loves trains. This is the uh, train that they used in the Harry Potter movie. It's also known as the Jacobite train in Scotland. And I believe we're gonna visit it this summer. So I'm super pumped to give him a picture of this. I know he's gonna love it. So once the art, in this case, a picture is loaded, I need to resize it a little bit to fit on the canvas. Uh, a lot of times I just go just a little bigger than what it's showing here. Um, just, I don't care if it sprays over a little bit. I just wanna make sure it covers the whole canvas. I've had a couple of times where I, I missed and it didn't cover the whole canvas or something. It kind of looks weird. So I'd rather be a little bigger than the canvas than short and see white around the canvas. So in this case, I actually wanna do this textured because I think this would be pretty cool as a textured picture. So I'm gonna go over here to the right side and click pattern textured. It's gonna do some generating and, and kind of go through its AI to uh, texture this. And then I wanna make this thing pretty big. So let's go up to like two millimeters so it really shows that texture. Now you can adjust the smoothness of that texture with this one right here. You can go like super smooth or very, very choppy. I think it's uh, really up to your personal preference. And the best way to check that out is just to come down here and do a preview of it. And that's in the bottom right side. So if you go in here, you're gonna be able to see uh, what is textured and what's not and kind of see how it's gonna look. It does this little shine kind of thing and shows you uh, what the texture is gonna look like. So if I go super, super jagged, it's gonna uh, kind of take it much more rough on the picture. I guess that's the best way to say that. If I go super smooth, it's gonna smooth it out. Um, you can see it's gonna stand up off that canvas about two inches like that. So something you could do if you wanted to is you could change this into a uh, relief photo. And that just it changes what is raised and it looks more like it's carved instead of uh, raised. I guess that's one way to say it. So I, if I click relief texture here, I'll show you what that's gonna look like in the uh, 3D preview as well. Uh, it takes just a couple minutes to process this. And then let's go all the way up. Let's go to five millimeters. It's gonna be crazy, but uh, let's go see what that looks like. So you can see it gives it a, it's a well, that's, that's pretty thick there. So that's gonna be like five millimeters. And straight on, it's kind of kind of look like that, like a normal picture, but it is, super raised and it's kind of like carved in in some areas uh, as a relief. 
So you can actually take that down and that's pretty much like nothing there. And you can kind of bring it up to wherever you feel like it would be a good place. In this case, I want to do the pattern texture. So I'm going to click pattern texture and then hit regenerate just in case you want to make sure that it's generated good. I'm going to set it up to like two millimeters and, and like seven smoothness ink mode. Um, I think this will look pretty dang cool if it was uh, co color raised. There we go. All right. So once you have your picture good, you, you regenerated it, you make sure it looks good in that preview and it's exactly how you like it. And of course it's placed right. Uh, what we want to do next is I'm going to max that out again because I just hit the regenerate. I'm going to set that back to uh, eight is fine. Um, I'm going to do color raised mode and come down to the bottom right and hit print. That'll take you to the next page. This is going to pretty much go through what you're going to print on. And in this case, because it's textured, I don't have a lot of options here, but normally you would choose what you're going to print on. So in this case, it's wood. Um, and then if it was a flat canvas, it'll let you choose the ink mode and the quality. In this case, it's textured and we want high quality. So we're good to go. All we have to do is hit this start printing button down here in the bottom right. And that's going to send the file to the device. As you see here, it usually doesn't take too long. I think this is going to depend on your computer and your internet speeds. But uh, for me, it's only usually a, a minute, maybe, maybe two if it's a really big detailed photo, but pretty fast. So once it's ready, it's just going to tell you to go hit that start button on the printer. We're going to run over and do that now and get this thing started. And this is just a quick view of the software on my computer. It's going to show you that it is printing. It's going to show you what percent it's at, what is printing, and you can pause and stop it here if you ever needed to. Uh, so this is kind of a cool little uh, glimpse at what's going on and how long it might take if you, if you kind of watch this. It will show you this on the app as well. And uh, when it's done, it's going to be 100%. Real quick, this is a great time to jump in and talk about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. Did you know PCBWay does way more than making really custom sweet PCBs? That's right, they do 3D printing, CNC milling, sheet metal fabrication, and tons more. And the best part about it is their site is super easy to use. Say you choose to do some 3D printing and you want an SLS, I don't know, death racer like we see here. All you gotta do is load the parts right onto their website shoot them out, they'll give you a quote once you decide what kind of material you want to use. Once you get that quote, you accept it, they print it, and they ship it straight to you. It is super, super easy to use. They got really awesome customer service and their shipping times are actually really good. If you remember this SLS Death Racer we raced at Murph last year, that thing came out amazing and yes, I won battles with it and it's crazy, crazy strong. So click on the link in the description below if you wanna check out PCBWay for the next project you're working on, I promise it's definitely worth it. Now back to it. It is finally done. And this is by far the longest print I have done on the Eufy Make E1 yet. This was 15 hours, 42 minutes, and 30 seconds. But it looks awesome. Let's get it off the build plate and take a closer look. Okay, let's pull this thing off the build plate and we'll just set it up like this and take a quick look. As you can see, it's textured. Uh, there's a, a pretty good texture on here and maybe it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to turn it sideways so we can figure that out. But I did notice this. This is some weird like color issues going on. It's all throughout here. I know I ran out of gloss and white during this print and I'm wondering if this is where that happened. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna check out the, the picture itself and make sure that wasn't part of the picture. But the rest of this looks really good. I don't know if I can show, quite show the texture um, as good as I want to on this, but it's definitely textured. It definitely has some raised effect. Um, some really cool texturing through the, through the train right there, uh, through the clouds. You can kind of see it when I do the reflection on there. Um, overall, this picture came out really awesome. I'm just not sure what this was. So that kind of, that kind of sucks, but I'll check that out and maybe do an update on social media or something. I, I'm just not sure what this was. So I double checked the art. This is not part of the art. So I'm going to send this picture over to uh, my friends at Yuffie Make and just make sure uh, that I didn't do something wrong or, or ask them what the heck this is. I'll try to update that on social media when I hear back from them. So at this point, you can clear this off of your build plate 
and move on to your next project. And that was a quick look at the start to finish process on the Eufy Make UV Printer E1. Uh, I just wanted to get that out there. I know I had a lot of questions on how easy it was and all that stuff. We're going to figure out this picture thing. I'm going to work with them and figure that out. But other than that, super easy to do. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the process and what you would do with this printer if you had one. Uh, or did you order one? I think this Kickstarter is over $20 million right now. So that is just absolutely insane. Uh, just so many backers on this one. People were dying to get a machine like this and it's really great to see. If you haven't seen this video right here, you definitely need to check that one out next. And as always, keep printing.